Hi, I'm Danny Ecker with your Chicago Business Today Midday Report. Ownership of the John Hancock Center could be changing hands if a New York-based firm gets its way. Blackstone Group is close to buying $100 million of the tower's debt in an effort to take over the skyscraper, according to a Bloomberg report. Current owners Golubin Company and a Goldman Sachs fund have about $400 million in loans on the building that come due next month, which Bloomberg reports they are struggling to refinance. Blackstone is trying to position itself to take over the building if the loans aren't paid off. The current owners paid $383 million for the Hancock Tower back in 2007. Over in River North, meanwhile, there's a new apartment tower for sale. River North Park at 320 West Illinois Street is up for grabs, and owner Waterton Associates is looking for a deal around $100 million. The firm bought the building in 2006 for $60 million and fixed it up. And as of late last year, it was 96% occupied, according to appraisal research counselors. Waterton says it's trying to strike while the iron's hot. Investor appetite for downtown apartment buildings is high right now. Deals approached a record level in 2011 thanks to three big towers changing hands last month, including the Flair Tower in River North. Well, Discover Financial Services says an upcoming federal probe into its marketing practices could be a big drain on earnings this year. The credit card giant is getting a look from the newly created Consumer Financial Protection Bureau after the FDIC brought an enforcement case against the company last year. Discover says in an annual filing this week that resolving the matter could cost more than $100 million. The company also faced a lawsuit from the state of Minnesota in 2010 that said it failed to tell consumers when they were agreeing to buy optional fee-based services like payment protection. And expansion continues for boutique clothing chain Akira. It's adding a 19th location this fall in a vacated former Borders bookstore in Hyde Park. The 8,000 square foot spot will serve as its flagship store. Co-owner Eric Sue says he's trying to tap into the market of recently graduated Hyde Park residents that currently have to make the trek up to the north side to shop at other locations. Sue opened the chain with two fellow Illinois grads back in 2002. Next month, they'll open their first location outside of Illinois in Merrillville's Westfield South Lake Mall. And that's what's happening in Chicago Business Today. For more breaking business headlines, stick with ChicagoBusiness.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. We'll see you back here on Monday.